Every 400 flight hours, an aircraft comes to us here in the phase dock, and we perform major inspections. We remove 136 panels off of this aircraft and do in-depth inspection underneath those panels. Along with that 400 hours, there's also a lot of other inspections that come due during that time as well. Down here in phase consists of F-16 crew chiefs, but we also work a lot with our counterparts as far as weapons, avionics, e and &E, and fuel shop. We do a lot of coordinating with them to get these aircraft repaired back to service, back to the fighter squadron to produce air power. The purpose of phase is to give the pilots 400 hours back to them so they can fly these aircraft another 400 hours before we see it again, producing safe, reliable aircraft. I wake up excited every morning and never know what I'm going to come into as far as what my work schedule is going to be like on a day-to-day, -day. but at the same time, it's, it's that is what gets me out of bed. You know, know that I'm being a part of the big picture. I love it. I think we are the closest thing to the fight other than the pilot in the seat pulling the trigger. And when we're down here and we get these phases knocked out, we see them out there taking off. I love that feeling. I don't, I don't think there's a better feeling in the world. Just like your family's car or truck, the F-16 Fighting Falcon needs constant maintenance and repairs. Most maintenance on the F-16 can be performed with the engine installed in the jet. But for certain major maintenance, the entire engine must be removed. Uh, basically what happened was engine shop found a bad hydraulic line. They weren't able to repair the hydraulic line with the motor installed in the aircraft. So we had to pull the motor out so they could get access to the hydraulic line and replace it. Before the crew can take the engine out of the airframe, the jet has to be disarmed. Airmen carefully remove each weapon from the F-16's wings so maintenance can be performed safely. Once the weapons were removed, maintainers started separating the engine from the airframe. It took over an hour to separate the engine from the airframe, and then the crew slowly and carefully pulled the engine from the aircraft. When you get towards the very back, because the motor weighs so much and puts such a burden on the airframe, as you start pulling it out, the airframe will settle up. And when you get close to the end, right before you come off the aircraft, you want to make sure you're sitting nice and level so that the motor doesn't settle down or up as it comes out of the aircraft, or vice versa with the aircraft jumping up or down when you pull it out. With the engine safely removed, the hydraulic line will be replaced, and the maintainers will continue repairing and maintaining the other F-16s in the squadron. Senior Airman Anthony Hetledge, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.